Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas Bark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the best alternatives to Reddit. Now, Reddit is probably one of the biggest kind of online discussion forums there is. There's anything from gaming, political discussion, um, meme discussion. It's a huge platform and it's only gotten bigger over the years. However, a lot of people have privacy concerns about Reddit. After all, it's a free platform to use, which means they're collecting all your data when you're using the site, and they're probably selling it to third parties, and that's how they make most of their money. Not only that, but huge companies like Tencent, which are based in China, have huge percentage ownership in Reddit, um, which is not very good if you don't really like the idea of an authoritarian regime like China, which is known for mass surveillance, having ownership stake in the website that you use. So there are a lot of reasons why you should use Reddit, but there are an equal number of reasons you shouldn't use Reddit if you care about your privacy, as well as what they're doing with your data. So guys, today we're gonna to be talking about some of the best alternatives to Reddit. Most of these websites are gonna be pretty similar in one way or another, but they're also gonna have their own disadvantages, but also advantages over Reddit. So let's go ahead and get into the list. Hey guys, just a reminder to check out vpntierlist.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel and you're gonna find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a VPN. Anyways, back to the video. So first up guys, I wanna talk a little bit about Hacker News. Now Hacker News is a little bit different than Reddit in that it feels a little bit more um, newsboardy in terms of being more compact and being more focused on news, not so much about a community overall. The website, to be honest, is a little bit hard to navigate sometimes because it's almost like too simple. A couple interesting things about the website, um, you know, it's it's pretty simple, similar to Reddit in kind of the way it, the comments are organized and different things like that. You can comment and post news articles, so it's pretty similar in that sense. Hacker News is very active as well. It's probably one of the more active kind of Reddit alternatives out there if you do think of it as a Reddit alternative. Some people might consider it more of a news board, but I do think it's similar enough to Reddit to warrant a mention here because both of how it's organized and how it kind of functions. An interesting thing about Hacker News is that once you post a comment after a certain amount of time, you can't delete it. It's stuck on the website forever, and it's kind of interesting to have that kind of decision. A lot of thing about Reddit is that it's kind of heavily moderated or people can delete stuff whenever they want. It's like everything you're seeing is not necessarily what was there, but with Hacker News, you know that's not the case. In fact, I've had comments on this website um, sent by legal teams for me to remove comments I've made about VPNs, criticizing them. And then I, I told my legal team, I was like, well, I can't really remove these comments. The comments are on Hacker News. They're stuck there forever. So it's kind of an interesting idea and one that has some merit, maybe some cons, depending on how you're looking at, you know, if you want to post things, they'll be there forever. So be careful what you're posting. But it is a really cool website, both because it's so active and, you know, it's kind of simplicity at what it wants to do. Now, Vote.co is probably the biggest kind of like popularly known Reddit alternative. Um, the website is almost exactly like Reddit. The only thing about it that's annoying is that you can't really look at it unless you register. So we're gonna do that really quickly just to show you guys a sample here. So now we made an account and now we can look at what it looks like. So honestly, this isn't really that much different than Reddit. It's just kind of like an alternative, I guess. In a lot of ways, it looks and performs very similarly to Reddit. Uh, as you can see here, there's different kind of subreddits, but it's different instead of reddit.com, it's vote.co slash v slash whatever Reddit you wanna to go to. This one is actually pretty active and a little bit more active probably than most other kind of like Reddit clones. This is probably the most popular Reddit clone. It has upvotes and things like that, comments and sidebars, so it's gonna feel very familiar. Now, one kind of main sticking point of vote is that it's supposed to be like censorship free. There's not supposed to be as much censorship as there is with something like Reddit, where moderators often delete a lot of things. However, this has led a lot of people to criticize vote, saying it's like a cesspool of pedophiles and Nazis and these kind of things that you're not gonna be wanting to interact with. So while it doesn't have censorship, it has a lot of cancerous trolls. Even stuff like Wikipedia says on September 12, 2018, Reddit banned several subreddits dedicated to discussing the QAnon conspiracy theory, stating they had violated its rules prohibiting violence, harassment, and other things. And this has caused a lot of QAnon posters to migrate to vote. And even a lot of kind of popular magazines think that vote is like a hub for the alt-right. So there's that. 
Now on the other side of the spectrum, we have something called like tilds.net, which is a little bit different than vote in that it's more of a curated kind of selection of content and a curated selection of users. In fact, you can't even use the website unless you get an invite or you can use the website, but you can't participate within it, the community. The website itself is more um, discussion oriented than some other options out there. And as you can see, there's no downvote button. The entire design is open source as well. It claims not to serve uh, advertisements or collect user data. So if you're looking for something that's more private than Reddit in that aspect, this is a good option. It, it possibly has you know strict to moderate moderation, which is different than uh, something like vote. It was made by a former Reddit administrator. And overall, I actually quite like this website. You could actually find some decent conversations on there. Like this person was talking about what games you've been playing. I actually think the discussion on here is pretty high quality and it's actually pretty active. So it's definitely something to check out and um, test out. Taking a look at, you know, kind of their mission statement, they have some pretty admirable thing saying that they're a non-profit, they don't have investors, no advertising, it's user supported, honest, open and open source, it has minimal user tracking and better privacy, high quality content and discussion and a limited tolerance for assholes. So, um, and if you want to get involved, it's publicly visible and you can browse it, like I said, without invitation. But if you do want to participate, you have to email this email right here and ask for an invitation. So that's my thoughts on this one. Now, this is another really cool Reddit alternative. It's called Ether, and it's kind of developed more on decentralization, um, whereas the other one's more centralized. Um, the cool thing about this one is that it's kind of like, it has a really good design. It has like subs there, and it's more like an application you'll put on your computer because it's kind of working with like a decentralized network. This is kind of what it looks like. I actually quite like this one. I think it could be a little bit more active. However, um, it does have some cool features like democratic sub moderation. So mods can actually be blocked by individuals and temporarily impeached which is pretty cool. So it's more like a democratic moderation system there. Um, another thing about this is that posts automatically disappear after six months. So it, it kind of preserves your anonymity and privacy a little bit there. It's almost completely opposite from Hacker News. It only currently has a Windows, Mac and Linux client um, with a kind of app, but it's not exactly like a web page like Reddit. So you are gonna have to download something like I said. You know, it lacks a little bit of features, but it does kind of present some interesting ideas that I like. And that the design of the application and usability is actually quite good. Now, another option you could check out is notabug.io. It's a decentralized content aggregator um, similar to Reddit, kind of like um, taking the back end of Reddit and putting it there for you. But it will have less content than Reddit and more based like on the back end kind of design of it. Honestly, this one isn't like quite as popular as some of their options. I just thought it was interesting because I do like this creator's kind of implementation of set it. Basically what you can do is go to reddit.com and replace the R with C and see kind of unmoderated versions of subreddits. Although you can't interact with them, you can see what mods are deleting and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Now, lastly, I do want to talk a little bit about Sedit. It's pretty similar to Reddit in its design. Uh, some interesting things about it is there's no downvotes. Um, and so it kind of promises to be more like the old Reddit of old. Um, with threads that never lock and stuff like that less censorship and overall content like that So this one is good to check out if you like less censorship and stuff like that But again kind of be careful of that stuff uh, on the alt-right. It's decently active though It probably um, just as active or almost close to as active as something like vote So if you like kind of those alternative styles to reddit, this could be an option All right guys, so those are some of my reddit alternatives that I've found after digging around Probably the biggest ones on here are gonna be Hacker News, and probably my favorite out of all of them is probably gonna be something like Tilts. Of course, you are gonna to have to you know, get an invite to access it, but I think even just looking at the website, there is really good discussion to be had to check out, um, and it does have a better kind of mission statement than Reddit, I think. Um, and that's my thoughts, guys. Let me know down in the comments down below if you could manage to find any other Reddit alternatives that are maybe more private, or maybe just a little bit better to use and have a better mission statement than Reddit, perhaps. Thanks for checking out this video, guys, and I'll see you again very soon.